you try being five foot one. Guys and welcome back to A Girl Named Cassidy. I'm A Girl Named Cassidy. If you're new and hadn't figured that out, you definitely figured that out. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing another segment of five outfits in five minutes, but if some of you may have noticed, I'm not in my own hair. So I'm doing it in someone else's closet and that person's closet is my boyfriend. So today is gonna to be a very uncomfortable kind of five outfits because nothing really gonna fit me nor is it my style. That's assuming that I don't pick all my boyfriend's outfits for him. Yeah, I know who I am. Anyway, when I was like, okay, this is the video that I'm gonna film this week, I had so much fun with it last time and so many of you guys really enjoyed it, so I'm so excited to be doing it again. I just thought to myself, I just thought to myself, the first one, I should probably explain how this game works. For those of you guys who haven't watched the previous one, which I will link over here, basically five outfits in five minutes is where I put together a few scenarios and I pull them out at random and in five minutes I have to get ready. So you'll be looking at this video going, but it's not five minutes and I'll go, ha, yes, but each outfit I have to do it within the five minute span. Time. Stop watch. I have five minutes and I have to put together an outfit and when I say an outfit I have to put on shoes, accessories, that type of stuff. That's how the game works. Those of you guys who watched the first video will know that I did it in my own cupboard. So it was funniest scenarios and I'm really happy that I could like do that because again it was my own closet so it's easy for me to just pop something on and be like <laughs> so this is me. <laughs> I wanted to do something totally out of the blue. No that's not the word I was looking for. I wanted to do something totally different. The reason why I thought I would do this is I'm going to try and put together some normal-ish scenarios. Like I don't want to do any outrageous or intense scenarios because already it's going to be difficult as it is getting dressed in someone who is completely different body type to me, who dresses... He's a boy, okay? He's a boy. So this is already going to be difficult. He's also normal height, which is what you people call it. I think I'm normal height. So he's six foot and well, I'm five foot one. So that's going to be funny enough as it is. And so I thought, let me try and put together some normal-ish scenarios and see if I could even accomplish that because I want these to be like achievable. Let's see if we can do it. See if we can do it. See if we can do it. Yeah. Okay, so before I did anything, I wanted to just show you the space. This is... <laughs> this is the space where Dan gets ready so I've obviously decided that I'm not going to be doing it here it's quite uncomfortable the spacing here it's like super small that's my leg yeah you saw that right that's why when you see in the next shot when I'm like okay cool that's why the cupboard doesn't look like a cupboard that's why it looks like I'm a nomad okay so I'm not going to be doing it in his little cupboard space here. As lovely and quaint as it is, it's definitely not for a video. So stay tuned for the next shot. Hi there, me again. I just wanted to interrupt this broadcast to let you know that my shoes normally aren't that dirty. My white shoes. I normally clean them because I come from a family where if I didn't clean them, my dad would shout at me. But that's besides the point. I recently went strawberry picking, like two days ago, and I've been busy, basic, busy. Busy, busy, busy. So I haven't had time to wash my shoes. As you were. So I'm back. I've got all of my scenarios in this bowl. As I said, jeez, well, I'm like, on my nose. When I did it with my one, I wanted it to be funny, but I feel like the mere fact that I'm doing it in someone else's clothes is funny enough. So I wanted to keep the scenarios quite realistic and I've only made five, but I've still put them into a bowl so I have that element of surprise. I've got accessories, I've got pajamas, normal clothes, formal clothes, jackets, and my own shoes. Sorry, Dan. But one thing I wanted to say, like I've been thinking about this while I've just been setting this up. Hear me out. You know how there are people that are like, 
I'm so low maintenance. No, don't worry about me. I go with the flow. I'm easy breezy. Just call me. Go with the flow. And then you like fold a top and they're like, no, that's not how you fold a top. Dan is one of those people. But I also feel like life hack. I don't know why I'm leaning in. Like, if you don't want to do something, just do it badly. But in this case, I didn't have to life hack it. Dan genuinely folds like one of those machines. Like he folds like a flippin' angel. Hey Dan, if you're watching this, it's your secret talent. If your day job doesn't work out for you, just become Marie Kondo. That is how you say her name, that guy. Mary, Mary, Marie Kondo. He folds all of his clothes immaculately. So I'm kind of like giggling inside, but at the same time, like deathly scared because I know and I'm gonna refold them like I'm not a nasty person. I'll refold them for you. Don't even was a loss. I'll do it for you, girl. But like, don't complain. So I've got my phone over here ready to do the timer. <laughs> Chilling at home with your friends in summer. What I meant by this was like, it's the evening time. It's not like, oh, my friends are coming over for drinks. It's like, we're watching movies and stuff. Let's go. Sorry guys. Okay, it sucks because it's summer and um, do you have childbearing hips? What the H? These are ginormous. Also, it's summer so I definitely just put on my Birks because I my Birks double up as, as slippers. Anyway, that's it. That's done. That's done, girl. Girl. Okay, first of all, I'm just gonna let you guys know that I love this top. I love this top so much. Work hard, party harder. Yes, yes, yes. You guys know, as a girl, literally, this is my... These are falling down. In the summertime, literally all I do is I wear shorts and like oversized tees. So I totally feel like this outfit works. Moving on. Who even does this? Am I a villain in like a cartoon? Okay, moving on to the next one. Formal meeting. Formal meeting, five minutes and go. So, <laughs> funny story about these pants. They are currently, <laughs> we spilled soy sauce on them yesterday, but I needed it for the video. Also, look how smart I'm being. Oh, oh, I'm not being smart. Normally I would take like something and tie it at the back. Oh yeah, I was telling you about the pants. So we went out for a bite to eat yesterday and well, I'm very excitable sometimes. And so I ended up spilling soy sauce on Dan's pants, but I needed to use these pants today. It's these bloody butt. My little shoes on, little espadrilles. I used to think they were es espadols. Espadol, espadols, espadols. I don't know what I thought they were, but I thought the name was wrong. Well, I guess I'm going like this. A pair of jeans that I wear like this anyway. It's just like, it's not form fitting, you know? But I have a pair of jeans that I wear like baggy. Have a good blazer. I literally, I just look like a boy. Perfectly on time. I mean, I look a little bit like rugged, but this is the best it can do. And then I've got my shoes on. I guess it's just gonna be one of those like oversized looks. That one's a difficult one. I thought that, so just like a little hack, if you can get the strings and things to come out of your shoes or whatever, a great way to do it is to tie these back ones, tie them and then just tie a thing over here. Obviously you're like wearing a jacket or you can make it saggy and then it'll go from like this, it'll literally look like a perfect fit. But I mean, it, I kind of look like I have a nappy. Nappy, nappy. I'm going to the shops. Start. Going the like a thug, thug, thug with my underwear showing like this. Again, I'm just a Jew. No! If you're gonna 
do it, you gotta do it right. Sunnies. I'm like not even mad at this outfit. I'm like here for it. This is it, this is me. I didn't change my shoes. I'll tell you why. Um, they are quite baggy or whatever, the pants, but I'm here for the shoe. I'm little, so I actually wear, oh, I'm gonna stop it. I actually wear little heels more often than not. People are always like, oh, we're not even going anywhere. What are you doing? And you try being five foot one. You're gonna wanna add some height, literally, always. So this is that. I'm like, I'm happy with this. I would actually wear this. I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna tell Dan that I own his clothes. Right. We are almost done. We are almost done. Out on the town with my friends. I'm like, <laughs> It's a little bit of a cop out though because I've got such neutral pants on. Honestly, why? Why? I'm, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not even, I'm not gonna. Who needs a jacket actually? No. Chances are I'd probably take my phone out and then have it stolen. I can't for these pants. I, like I can't. Okay. This is me. I mean, there's more in my nappy. <laughs> this one actually took me quite some time. Still, same shoes. So I know what this last one is. Date night. No thinky to do. Let's go. Date night. So this is my date night look. A little off the shoulder. It's stuck like this. I've got these shoes on. I've got this little off the shoulder. I do like hair loose kind of type of vibe. Yeah, this is it's a little bit like frumpy though. I would obviously love to have it be a little bit tighter, but this is just me doing my thing. Anyway, oh, looks a right mess. Like vomit. Like super vomit. This has been really fun. You know it's not gonna be fun? It's turning off this camera and cleaning everything up. Not fun at all. Anyway, I'm super pumped I could have this day with you and do a video like this again. It was really funny to say the least because I know that when like I'm in my head about these things, I know like here to me, looking at the viewfinder, I think I look okay. But I know I'm gonna put this on my computer and be like, what the H? What the H? What the actual H? This has been really fun, but I'm gonna leave you guys. And I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. So please give it a like as it really supports my channel. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. And guys, before you go anywhere, I'm hosting a workshop on the 26th of October. And I would love you guys to join me. I'm gonna put a little trailer at the end of this video. But please be sure to go and buy your tickets. It's been so great to see you guys. See you guys. It's been so great to chill with you guys. Have a laugh on. Hey, hello, how's it, guys? A girl named Cassidy here. Most of you know me as Constantia Mom. Huh? I'd love a coffee if anyone's making. It's organic. I'm missing a pair of Birkenstocks. I took of your hoverboard. Your iPad is not going to help you pass grade 7. I thought I would hop on here to let you know that I'm hosting a workshop, and I would love it if you guys would join me. It's about the art of creating authentic and wholesome content. And I've heard so many things back about how it makes you feel good and gets you through the darker days. And I really just want to share all of the things that the film industry has taught me and helped me with, whether it be aesthetics, getting people to stay on your page longer, Longer, you name it it's gonna be in the workshop also I'm gonna be doing a bunch of giveaways so you guys have seen my unboxings where I jump in the pool and do silly things like that it's still cold <laughs>
to a lot of these brands who've gifted me such amazing things. We've decided to give away a bunch of cool stuff live at the workshop. And lastly, we're gonna do one massive hamper, which is going to be given away on my Instagram. Just come and learn some cool new things. Thanks guys, chat to you soon.